Many years ago, when the internet was born and the World Wide Web came into existence, it was what we now call Web 1. And the Web 1 was about was a read-only web. You know, we could we saw things on the PC and we read them. And in fact, the interface for Web 1 was the PC or the personal computer. Then came Web 2. And these new companies, Google, Facebook, Twitter, actually made this web the read and write web. So not only did you read stuff, but you actually could write or could contribute. And so it became a two-way communication. And the primary interface for that became the mobile phone. Now, as we are transitioning to perhaps the third evolution of the web, which is Web3, which is the read, write and own web. So not only do you read and write like in Web2, but you actually own pieces of it through blockchain technologies, tokenization, uh, cryptocurrencies, NFTs. And it is said, that the interface for this will be this very new immersive interface called the metaverse. Now, I'm sure you've heard of this word, the metaverse, and you've read multiple different definitions of it. Uh, I actually teach the metaverse at uh, Ashoka University, my first course there. And what I can help with is to demystify what this metaverse thing really is, that it just, it goes beyond just the AR and VR headsets that we think we wear and go into this new kind of world, it goes much beyond this. McKinsey, in fact, estimates that the metaverse business will be about $5 trillion by 2030. Now, how can your organization, irrespective of the industry that you are in, prepare for this big metaverse and Web3 transition? This is something that I teach, I talk about, and I'm uh, experimenting with across different industries, whether it be manufacturing, whether it be education, whether it be healthcare, or whether it be entertainment or anything else. And I would love to share some of this knowledge and experience with you.